I would like to think that I have a wide taste in anime, I'm not just one of those instant gratification types who aren't satisfied unless there's a fist sinking into someone's face or an entire forest being wiped out by a single powerful misguided fart every 5 minutes. So I do like to give every anime a chance to flick that switch in my brain called enjoyment before condemning it into the deep dark pits running that switch known as boredom. I say this now because as hard as I've tried, I've never been able to get into the school life genre. It's not that I haven't tried to like it, I've force fed myself as much school life anime as my stomach could take, but with the exception of great teacher Onizuka, none of those animes ever did flick that switch. So when I first heard about the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, I merely dismissed it as another generic high school comedy. Now, I know some people like to say, never judge a book by its cover, but I like to say, always judge an anime by its fanbase. Like how the Naruto fanbase consists of yappy prepubescent twats pissing around pretending to be a very loose definition of the word ninja. Or like how the Evangelion fanbase is made up of pompous pretentious fuckwits who like to attack anime newbies with the power of nerds and can write entire fucking essays on the metaphorical meaning of Shinji's little pinky. From what I noticed, Harry he had a fanbase of an Ataki crazed mush, comprised primarily of fangirls that communicate solely through high pitched squeals, and fanboys who have completely lost the concept of dignity and spend their spare time fantasizing about how to get a girlfriend with a name that doesn't end with dot JPEG. I just didn't want to become one of these fanboys, so it was at this point that I decided to disregard it, thinking that its popularity would just blow over, the hype would eventually die out, and the fanbase would finally realise that they were worshipping a 16 year old fictional schoolgirl. Two years later, and with his popularity still going strong, I finally gave in and watched it like an innocent child being peer pressured into trying his first cigarette. Before even watching the series, I had the dilemma of choosing to watch it in the chronological order or the bizarro order of the broadcast version. Being a completely average person with a full grasp of common sense, I immediately opted to watch it in the chronological order, with it being the most logical choice. Though, a little bird told me otherwise, because apparently, somewhere along the line, the series got pissed one night, awoke in the middle of someone's backyard, and forgot that it had any common sense to begin with. As far as the story goes, it follows the miscellaneous adventures of Kyo, Mikuru, Yuki, and Koizumi in the undercover mission to save the universe from total destruction by keeping Haruhi from becoming bored. That's about the gist of it anyway. There was something about aliens, time travellers, and espers in it, but anyone who says they're watching Haruhi for the completely ridiculous plot, sorry fanboys, but it is, it's just lying. The best episodes in this series were the ones that didn't have anything to do with the main plot, like the rock concert, baseball or video game episode. Well maybe for that, and for a certain dance, but I'll get back to that later. From what I can tell, the entire series is set in the mind of your typical anime geek. I mean seriously, it's like the studio got together a small group of otaku and asked them to make a list of what they wanted in an anime series, with the list being comprised of schoolgirls, space battles, rock concerts, bunny girls, boobies, fan service, fan service, motherfucking fan service. Okay, I lie. There's not that much fan service in the Lapina sense of attempting to break the world record of the number of times BBs and panties can be flashed across the screen in the space of one episode, but there is a lot of fan service in the sense that the whole series is basically made for fans. Kyoto Animation obviously knew who their target audience was, and played it so well that they managed to ensnare the fanbase into liking it. Maybe that's why there are so many Haruhi fanboys out there. Perhaps it's just an addictive thing. Wait, you know what I mean. An addictive... thing. Okay, let me rephrase that. I think what I was trying to say in my very limited way there was that Haruhi just has a way of drawing you to its world, that it just grows in you, and slowly develops into a whole new scary type of addictive... thing. And as much as I thought I wouldn't be saying this, I enjoyed Haruhi, well, parts of it anyway, though I could never shake the feeling that it was just trying too hard to impress me. It strings together just about every anime genre together and packs it all into just 14 episodes, and I got the impression that it didn't actually know what it wanted to be. Now, I don't think this review would be complete unless I mentioned the Harry Hara Yukai dance, since that seems to be the law these days. I don't know what Kyoto Animation have with their crazy opening and endings, but I put the Harry Harry Yukai dance in the same place I put a Lucky Star opening. Up my metaphorical ass. I mean yes, it is an extremely catchy song and a wonderfully animated dance, but those are the things I hate about it now, since after watching one too many people attempt to dance in real life, it now reminds me less about hyperactive school kids choreographing a wacky dance, and more of thick nerds making themselves look like complete wankers. Overall, Haruhi certainly was a surprise package and definitely wasn't what I expected. There are many high points in it, but at the same time, there are many episodes that I just didn't get. The first episode almost put me off the series completely, since I got the same impression for that episode as I did for Lucky Star, and we all know what I thought about that. In the end, you will probably find something that you'll like in this series, but the trouble is actually having the patience to find it. I still don't think it's as good as the fanbase proclaims, but still good nonetheless. And maybe the reasons that so many Haruhi fanboys exist isn't because of the hair or the dance, but maybe because we all have a deep repressed desire to secretly become Haruhi's bitch. Or then again, maybe not. Overall, I give this anime an 8 out of 10. Thank <laughs> you.